Okay, so I guess then we can start to shut down the final uh, talk, I would say, of this event. Although there is a workshop still running uh, about MTLS, we still continue. No, say we cannot hear you yet. <laughs> um, yes, there's a microphone symbol. Cool. So then I would like to say um, thank you for all your participant participation here. Um, we had, I think we had a, a nice first edition of FrostCon, online edition. Um, for us, it was fun. And I just wanted to show you some facts um, to to illustrate how the conference has been for us. So first facts, we, since we had an online event, streaming stats uh, are the most important things. Uh, we have two separate state, uh, stats in this case. We have a big blue button stats and streaming sta uh, stream states. Um, since we, um, we record them separately. Um, if some of you have been in the talk of Lucas, who, uh, had, uh, who described how this organization worked and how the, uh, how the technical setup was working, you know the numbers, but if you haven't been here, uh, just some fun stats. So we had, uh, at, at the peak, we had 200 particip participants live in big blue button rooms. Um, these weren't in one single room, they were, um, uh, all over the rooms we have. So the partner rooms, the uh, workshop rooms, the lecture rooms, and also the special rooms like the Olga office, the Cafe Clutch, and the other rooms. Uh, we produced around 500 gigabytes of traffic, which isn't that much, but I think it's enough <laughs> for such a conference. Uh, and uh, the user stats, which are, let's say, a bit uh, quirky because we have 1,100 guests, which is, isn't actually the number of guests we had here, because if you close the browser and open it again, you are a new guest. Um, but we can say we had at least, had more than 200 registered users. Uh, these also include speakers, um, partners, and organizational staff. So I think um, it's it's pretty good for the first first online edition. Um, also, the stream stats is a is a small graph here. You can see, uh, if you can spot some highlights. We had uh, at, at a peak around about 270 people who are watching the stream. These are people which go on top of the BBB users. So um, I've calculated the numbers um, during the event, uh, and we were somewhere around 300 to 350 viewers, uh, which sums up uh, stream users and um, and big blue button users at the same time. So let's say 350 uh, users about have visited here, and maybe also, <laughs> and also um, I think we had some changing users from time to time. So that would be the way to. Uh, then we will. I would say start to say some thank you notes. Uh, Said, if you want to take over, you can. You can do now. Yes, I will. So um, I want to thank uh, all the staff and all the people who organized the conference, the name of the university. And uh, well, I think it was for the first uh, version of an online conference. It was really great. And uh, well, thank you to everyone who worked together and made this conference possible. And I wish everyone a nice evening. And uh, well, we don't have to ha travel home, most of us. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just a farewell to until next year. Thank you, Said. Um, also, um, a big thank you for the uh, University of Applied Sciences for supporting us. And this year, they didn't have to sponsor most of their <laughs> of their facilities, but they are still uh, there are still people uh, in the uh, in the vicinity of the uh, Applied University. For example, Ulrich Kelber yesterday held a talk from there, so we're still very thankful for the support that the uh, University of Applied Sciences gives us for this conference. Because without them, we wouldn't be here the fifteenth time. To be honest, there wouldn't be any 15th uh, FOSCON conference, and especially it wouldn't be free for you, which is one of the major major benefits of this conference, that it's actually free for everyone who, so everyone can come. You don't, even if you don't have the money to pay uh, pay big entry fees, you can come here and enjoy the FOSCON. So first of all, another, uh, a big thanks goes out to all our partners. We have a lot of partners which um, join us multiple years. Most of the partners you see on the following slides haven't been here for the first time, but haven't have been with us for the last couple of years. Some partners from the beginning, and uh, we're very thankful for that because without these partners, um, this conference wouldn't have wouldn't happen, because then we would have to uh, to to uh, to start to um, to. Hello? 
to raise the fees for you, and we don't want to do that. We want to we want to have a free a free and open source software conference, and the free we mean that. So that the partners allow us to do that. So and they allow us to have this conference every year. So we have a lot of supporters. This this year there wasn't much opportunity to present themselves in the conference due to the lack of presence, <laughs> due to lack of a real real place to uh, present themselves and still they were uh, they they said we want to support you we want to help you to make this conference happen also a big thank you to the booth partners um five of them you see here the, ne the uh, next one is coming in the next slide uh, you also i think are an important part of the conference um, because people are able to talk to you, get to know what you're doing, and maybe if they're interested in looking for a job, they can come to you and talk to you in person without being in an um, in a situation where they have pressure. So there's a very easy, you can talk um, easily. You can talk about topics, what you do, and I think it's a nice way to get to know the companies. Uh, thank you for all the partners supporting us. Also, thank you for Tarend being one of the conference, uh, the room partners of this special room of Lecture Room One. Um, and also, they had a booth here, so I'm very thankful for our partners in this case. Another thank you, as I also said it, to all the organizing staff, all the people working behind the scenes, uh, some of them very, very heavily in the last couple of weeks to make this technically happen, but also uh, for the organization we do before. Um, we start basically at the end of last year to organize this conference. We thought it would be a live conference by that time, but then things radically changed. And um, due to the um, dynamic nature, how we organized the conference, we were able to cope with the changes and to uh, stop planning the real life conference and start planning an online conference. And I'm very impressed how that worked out, uh, to be honest, because for all of us, it was a premiere. Most people didn't have online conferences until the point where, where we decided to do so. So there were no large experiences. We didn't know which tools exist for such a large audience. And I think it worked out very, very well. So I didn't see any major large, large technical issues. Um, I think everybody found his room, his or her room. Um, every speaker was here. So I think it was a, for us, it was a great success that the organization could uh, happen like that. And um, uh, then and that's why I want to say thank you to all of the organizing staff. Um, and also, thank you for all the speakers who uh, came, didn't, uh, came to the conference, but uh, uh, streamed the talks from home, uh, gave presentations for users. We had um, some uh, talks where uh, over 60 or 70 people were listening to. So I guess uh, that's an audience you would like to talk to. And uh, it's nice that the people were there and you were able to interact with them. Uh, thank you for all the speakers. And finally, I have to say thank you to all the participants. You have been here. We don't do the conference just to have a conference. We do that for, so that you get information, that you can talk to other people, you can hang out with them. The latter parts aren't as easy as it is when you see people in person, but I think we still made it somehow happen. And uh, without you participants, we didn't need to make this conference. And we want to. We want to give something back to the community. We want to give you the opportunity to a start as a speaker so if you want to propose a talk next year we are free uh, we would uh, thrilled to see you and also to have you as visitor so you can give us feedback and you are uh, you can learn something new that's very very cool for us so hopefully next year we will see us in st augustine i'm not sure about that right now <laughs> i think nobody knows we will see next year if it is the second online conference or is this, if it's uh, edition 16, which is then, I think, 1,000 in binary, um, to uh, have the next conference um, in place. We will only do that if it's safe, that's for sure, because uh, we do not want to pose any uh, health risks to anyone. So take a look at our social media channels and uh, all the other publications we try to do to send you the information how the conference will take place next year. But I guess this won't be fixed until let's say april or so next year i guess <laughs> hopefully then the pandemic is over but we still don't know nobody knows actually and if you would like to give us feedback there are multiple ways to give feedbacks if you want to rate the talks you can go to the program page and rate the talks there if you have feedback and any other topic, just send us, send us an email, feedback at foscon.de. We will read all those messages. Maybe we will not uh, respond instantaneously because we all mostly need a break after such a conference. Um, but uh, we appreciate every feedback you give us. 
uh, and we are uh, we like what you have to tell us uh, if it's bad news it's good then we have something to improve on if it's good we also are happy about that so and finally we have a survey which is provided by the um, university of applied sciences it's only in german that's the catch but uh, you can do the survey in, in re on regular conferences we have them on paper now it's online it's basically the same sheet but online uh, if you want to give us feedback feel free to do so and then the final words here is thank you for participating in FlossCon 15, the first online conference, and have a nice weekend, the last few hours. Uh, and hopefully you've learned something for you or taken something with you uh, that you can share. Thank you.